Barack Atta Yahweh. Barack Atta Yahweh. Barack Atta Yahweh Shai. Barack Atta Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and all this great millstone rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right. Now what you just saw was uh, an MTV mar martial law commercial. So the, the elite are showing you in plain sight what their agenda is, okay? That, that was hidden in plain sight because the way they operate, they, they show you what they're gonna do before they actually do it. Whether it be by commercials, um, it could be in uh, TV shows, uh, movies, it could even be in a cartoon, man, all right? It could be a subliminal message or it could just be right in your face, all right? Hidden in plain sight or re revelation of the method, okay? It's their way of prophesying to you what they're gonna do before they, before they actually do it. We're about to come into some, some uh, stormy times, dark times, man, you know? You know, we, we, we read about Yahweh Shai's uh, darkest hour, his time of temptation, okay? And we're about to have the same thing, man, okay? It's about to be our hour of temptation. Ultimately, uh, with that chip, okay? But at the same time, you're gonna have uh, martial law coupled with that, famine coupled with that, all right? All, it's all gonna culminate. Okay, go ahead, brother. Hey, Jeremiah 18 and what? 21. Jeremiah 18 and 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Right, so Jeremiah actually put curses on uh, Israelites, right? Jeremiah put curses on the two thirds. Go ahead, Ock. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword. Right, so deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. So those are curses. Now, these are the things that's coming. So the. the uh, the destruction that's coming, or you, you, you could say the, uh, basically the, the different atrocities that are gonna come to America, the different events that are uh, gonna cause people to panic, you know, and, uh, and basically to be destroyed in those different things that's coming, it's really for the two thirds, man. It's, it's not for us, but it's still sent to test us. It's still Jacob's trouble, all right? But, but he shall be saved out of it. The elect of uh, Jacob are gonna be saved out of it, but the two thirds of Jacob are gonna be caught up in that, man. Going back to uh, Jeremiah's curse he put on him. Go ahead. Quick precept. Jeremiah 15 and two, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Right, so, that's the future of the two-thirds, man, okay? They're gonna die of famine. They're gonna die by the sword. You know, the modern-day sword is the gun. So them being shot during the uh, hour of martial law, all right, which is not just the one hour, okay? It's just gonna be a length of time, man, when martial law is, is gonna uh, be implemented, mm -hmm. okay? And they're, they're gonna die horrifically, man. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, eat their children. Cannibalism is coming, which Israel did that in the past. They did that during the time of 70 AD. They also did it during the time of uh, the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonians, man. So nothing is new under the sun. They're gonna do it in this time, man. And there has to be a, you know, heavy demons to make you eat your children. So the Lord is gonna have them bugging out, man. Okay? And, and, and such as are for captivity to the captivity, them being hauled off into these uh, makeshift camps or these different concentration camps, FEMA camps, all right? Hey, Hillary Clinton calls them fun camps. You know, uh, 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 camps for adults. She put it out there, man. She don't give a damn about you Americans, man. But y'all stupid asses uh, uh, still uh, vote for her, man. Her or uh, uh, Donald Dump. Donald Duck, all right? You will vote for him, too. They don't give a damn about you Americans, man. They're both puppets, all right? You know, e either uh, Hillary Clinton gonna be up in there Donald Trump gonna be up in there, or Obama's gonna stay up in there. Either way, these things are still gonna come to pass, all right? And that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, it will still be mandated, mandatory. You won't be able to uh, buy or sell without it. That's gonna come to pass, all right? Back in Jeremiah 18 and 21, and let their wives be bereaved of their children. Right, so a lot of children gonna die, man. Women are gonna see their little babies get shot in the head. Okay, shot, shot multiple times, all right? See, see, seeing their babies die of famine, man. So horrible times are coming. That's why you can't worry about your family, man. All right? Okay, so, hey man, fuck that family shit, man. That, that fam family don't matter right now, man. Only thing that matters is the truth, man. All right, your, your salvation matters. 
That, that's what matters. And hey, guess what? Let's say your family does die. Well, you gonna get them back, man. That's faith, man. You, you know what you need to have? You need to have impeccable faith. You need to have to the point where it's impossible faith. Like, how can I get that type of faith? That's what you need, because you need that type of faith to survive, man. You need that type of faith to, to laugh at, uh, at destruction and famine. Like I say, he's in Job, the fifth chapter, at destruction and famine, that's your laugh. That's faith, that's faith out this world, man. You laugh when people die? <laughs> look at that bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, that bitch got raped, man. That bitch, you talk all type of shit. You know, look, look at them simple ass niggas die. That's, and you laugh, and you cracking up. A good, a good, healthy laugh. Go ahead. I got a precept because you said we're gonna get our families back if we lose them, right? Done. Job 42 and 16. After this lived Job in 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations. Yeah, so you're gonna get that family back and some, and you're gonna get more than Job. Because we're gonna receive immortality. Alright? You're gonna have an, an immortal body, an everlasting tabernacle, man. A body that won't die. It's going to be uh, invincible. Really? Okay? That's worth waiting for. That's worth di dying for, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 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 beyond us just wanting the kingdom and, and, and wanting women and slaves and, you know, health, healthy, good food, food that's good for us and being able to enjoy your how about Shim Yashah's creation, the main thing we want is to stop going off, man. Mm -hmm. That's really the main thing we want. And the only way to have that is to have that new body, man, sure. where the laws are put in you. But see, you got to wait for that. You gotta fight for that. Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, come on. Jeremiah 18, 21. And be widows, and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. In battle. Martial law, not to mention them dying overseas in World War III, okay? So that's what's coming, man. All right, and martial law will be declared, like you saw in that MTV commercial. So they put it right in your face, man. Okay, and that's an old commercial. But through the Spirit, that's edifying, man. Because see, this is preparing you for the day of the Lord. Like it, te it tells you that the wicked prophets of Israel not warning you about the battle of the day of the Lord. They like foxes in the desert, man. You know, when you read in Ezekiel chapter 13, all right? You have these uh, different uh, pastors and preachers that are in the world, but you have Israelites that are supposed to be in the truth. They call themselves prophets, elders, bishops, preachers of the word like uh, Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC, he not warning you, he not getting you ready for martial law. Concentration camps, the RFID chip being implemented and, and, and telling you not to take it, okay? Zabak not warning you, all right? Uh, uh, General Yohanna not warning you. Elder Rakai of the GOCC not warning you. He, he spoke about it, but see, he don't really push it like that. He spoke about it like a few times, man, but he's, he goes so off into, a, into false doctrine, really, you can't listen to that guy, man. Don't, hey, man, the only people that's gonna give you the full truth is GMS, man, yeah. and that's from, from the spirit. We're not just saying that. Hey, and, and that's right, man, because according to the scriptures, it's, it's one truth, one faith, and one baptism, man. And there's also one count uh, of men that are actually true men of the Lord, Yahweh yeah. Shem Al Shah. Right. So, hey, everything else, these other camps, they cross themselves out. Why? Because they're not following the doctrine, the true format of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. To so prove it, it has, like you said, it's one group, right? In the scriptures, we're called a body. The mm -hmm. body of Yahweh Shah. Yep. The body has to be in sync, man. Mm -hmm. It all has to operate in unison. How can we operate in unison when you teach different doctrines, man? That's right. So hell no, we're not gonna get together with you niggas, all right? With you niggas, man. Mm -hmm. Can two walk together except they be agreed, okay? Second Ezra. Second Ezra 16 and 7, 70. For there shall be in every great place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. A great insurrection, so a, a, a great uprising against us, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You know? So you, you're gonna have people, uh, you know, battling in, in different cities. You're gonna have different class wars, race wars, all right? You know, different people are uh, rising up against each other, but the main people they're gonna be rising up against is us. That's right. Because we're, we're, we are the threat to the society, man. We're, we're enemies to the state, enemies to the government, because what we're teaching is uh, treason, man. Mm -hmm. America's gonna be destroyed, all right? That's why, that's why they wanna censor you two. They wanna censor what we say, okay? Go ahead, brother. Verse 71. They shall be like madmen. Esau is gonna be like a madman. That's why it says how the you know uh woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of, and of uh 
and of the sea, mm -hmm. for the devil shall come down upon you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. The devil coming down, coming down with great wrath is Esau, the so-called white man, being like a madman sparing none. So when martial law is declared, Esau's gonna fully show himself, man. You 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 gonna know who who he is, man. Cause he gonna be, hey, wise, bereaved of their children, he gonna be killing children. He gonna kill old men, he gonna he not gonna spare. Alright? They they gonna really fully enact that Georgia Godstone, man. They gonna they gonna do the best to their ability to enact it. Alright? They they wanna kill masses of people, man. That's why they made movies like uh, The Purge, Rampage. Mm -hmm. They showing you what they actually gonna do, alright? Go ahead, brother. Sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That fear the Lord, man, so they coming for us, alright? You know, now you have all Israel, they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. So they're going to be holding you two thirds off too, man. You know, but see, we are the threat. So that's why we need to basically have ourselves ready, man. You know, Revelation 2 and 10, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Those are those concentration camps. All right, martial law. They coming for us, man. Go ahead. Revelation 12 and 15. And a serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. After the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Right, so the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the serpent, which is uh, the Roman Empire. Again, it was Vespasian. You, right, uh, Vespasian and his son Titus. Mm -hmm. That's going back during the time of 70 AD, man. You know, he, he sent out those, those Roman uh, soldiers to uh, destroy us, mm -hmm. okay? You had those Roman Jewish wars, mm -hmm. and they destroyed Jerusalem, man. Mm -hmm. But see, they gonna do it again in this time, all right? Martial law, those martial law troops. That's that flood. That's the flood. You know? That's the flood. Hey, uh, well, you might as well get uh, Isaiah, what's that? 50, is it 59 19? Okay. You know, it's linking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Esau, Esau gonna come like a flood of waters on you niggas, man. Yep. You know, all, all through your neighborhood, man, all in your hood. You, you gonna see who owns your hood, all right? You niggas don't own shit. Go ahead. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai from the west. From the west, the western hemisphere. All right, North America. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And his glory from the rising of the sun. Right. That's the east. Yeah, that's the east. So you got brothers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that's our hope. That's the impeccable faith that you have to have. That, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with you. That's right. That Lord will, you can receive that spiritual power. That's that standard. Or you having an angel that's just gonna come down and slaughter people for you, man, protect you, guide you. You know, the angel of the Lord leading you by the way you need to go, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Now it, it, now we have that hope and also hope in the afterlife. Like, all right, well, if I, if I have to go, then it's my time. If you gotta be uh, Revelation, the, the 20th chapter, is 20 or uh, 4, or 20 and 5. You, resurrection. Yeah, the, uh, well, what speaks about them being beheaded. If you gotta, if you gotta be a martyr, man, then that's the other side of it too. So it, it's tell it's either, them, either way. Tell the most how to receive your spirit. See, so yeah, tell the most how to receive your spirit, man. So that's our hope, man. All right, but you know that, that's the point. You know, I was gonna get a scripture. Well, I'm gonna get it for you. It's gonna be the last scripture. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter nine, verse fourteen. Even so, have the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel shall live of the gospel. Basically, and, and who has He ordained? Right now, it's beginning with Apostle Tahar, man. They are the ambassadors of the body of Yahweh Bashem Awashah. Okay, reread that again. There's another All right. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 14, mm -hmm. Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. Right, and so basically, hey, you have to be a brother, man, hey, when the camera is off and when you're not around the brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? That shows your sincerity, man. That's really living and breathing this word, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't preach to others if you're not doing it. Like Paul say, basically you're going to become a, um, a castaway, man. Right. You're going to become shipwrecked. Yep. And, and yeah, so so we, we got to live it, man. Yep. We, we, we have to live what we speak, man. We got to practice what we preach, you know? But Because that's the only way we're going to be able to endure, man. All right? It goes deeper than just quoting scriptures. Right. We, we have to apply what we know. Because the time coming, man, when uh, it got to be in you. It has to be in you, right? Yep. So... With that, we want, we want to say Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. All right, so the next lesson we say, Shalom. Shalom.